But if we're going to be honest, that's something I noticed today on my way here that bothers me. It makes me question, is this marriage somewhat real? On the bus ride over to the dinner, I borrowed Katina's phone and I skimmed through it and I saw something that really upset me. I tried to put it off, you know, just try to ride the night out, but I just couldn't do that anymore. I had to speak my mind. If you want me to bring it up, I'll bring it up right to this table right now. Do you want me to say it? I'll say it. No, because I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. I'm lost, just like everybody else. No idea. From one minute, we're kissing at the table, and then the next minute, it's like Jekyll and Hyde. No idea. How are you feeling about this decision right now? Up in the air. Never had a solid answer, but I have a solid answer by today. I mean, I don't know what he's talking about, so it's a conversation we'll have later in private. I would have brought it to you before, but I noticed it on our way here. I've been holding it in, but... But she brought it to everybody now without addressing it to me in private. But if we're going to be honest, like I told you, I'll be truthful and honest on my vows. But there's so. a difference between being honest and you're, you're insinuating something in front of everybody. That's not being honest to me. Like, you're you're throwing something in a flame, and I don't even know. You you understand what he just did? Yeah, I 100% hear what I'm, I'm talking with you. I'm not talking at you. There's a point where... I promise to be honest with you, but there's a point where I promise myself I got to be honest but with myself. But how are you being honest when you just because said there is something here and I noticed on the way here. You didn't even wait until after this to bring it to me. Because I don't have to engage in what, what it is. I could just address it so you know your husband's not okay and I got to figure out what, what the problem is with my husband. Whatever it is, when I explain it, you're my wife. This shouldn't even be a conversation. I That's hear you all because is. you and I are so alike, like, and I know that you're ride or die for this bitch. Yeah. But she, this bitch is like, oh, what just happened? She doesn't right. know. I thought we were on the same page. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. I hear that. But you know it's, how it's you at told... point where it's like a spit in your face. So it's something that I'm not okay with. I'm being dead serious. So it's it's really it's something I don't want to address because if I address it right here on camera, it could get ugly. It really could, and and it'll make her look bad. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk to you one-on-one. But the way you said it, especially her not knowing, it just put her in this awkward place in front of all of us because we're like, what, what, what are you talking about, too? Because so two seconds ago, we were just fine. Yeah. You were holding yeah. my hand. That's, that's like, what happened. happened. She just didn't like the, the delivery of it and, not, right. and the unknown about it. I think it's a private conversation. I'm ready to leave. I honestly have no idea what just happened with Katina and the O. I get both sides. I understand. Um, I understand O feeling like he has something on his chest that he needs to, he needs to just get off. I also understand Katina feeling like there's the time and place for that. I, I, I don't know what could be going on. I, I couldn't really understand what was hap- what had happened, but I hope that whatever it does um, come from it, that they both come to a, a healthy place and can resolve it in, in a way that works for each of them as individuals and as a married couple. We all had a pretty great time on the bus ride over, so it seemed like it was something that he had noticed and just kind of sat with. I feel like, you know, it was a little bit of an unfair situation to put her in the hot seat. I feel like she was kind of cornered.